Sa geometric sequence, ito naman yung mga sequence of numbers natin na kinakailangang hanapin yung common ratio. So, yan yung isa sa mga major differences ng geometric sequence sa arithmetic sequence. Now, it's also given by the formula a sub n equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Where a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of sequence that's needed to be a solved doon sa ating geometric sequence. Now, ito yung mga kailangan natin para masagot natin yung iba't ibang problems involving geometric sequence. Now, yung una natin mga examples is we need to verify if yung sequence daw ng mga numbers or yung series of numbers na nakikita natin eh considered to be geometric sequence. So, first example, I have 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. Now, to verify if the sequence of number is a geometric sequence, kailangan nyo lang i-divide this time yung second number to the first, yung third to second, yung fourth to third, and so on. And by doing so, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And if we divide 6, I mean 12 and 6, it is, it is also equal to 2. 24 divided by 12 is 2. At mapapansin nyo, yung ating mga ratio or yung ating mga quotient is equal to 2. So, common ratio na matatawag yung 2 kasi pare-pareha siya at consistent siya sa bawat term ng ating sequence. So, itong number 1 natin will be considered to be a geometric sequence because we verified na meron siyang common ratio. Now, for number 2, meron tayong 8, 4, 2, and 1. Um, doing the steps na ginawa natin sa number 1, i-divide nyo yung second number to first, yung third to second, at mapapansin nyo na consistent yung ating sagot which is 1 half. So, 1 half yung quotient ng ating number divided by 4 at saka yung 8. Therefore, yung second example natin, a eh, geometric sequence then. The second example natin, we need to find the 12th term of the geometric sequence given 5, 15, and 45. Now, alam natin na kapag geometric sequence yung gagamitin natin, ang formula na kailangan natin will be a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Now, kailangan daw natin hanapin si a sub 12, which is the 12th term. So, kailangan meron tayong a sub 1 at saka r para makuha natin yung ating 12th term. So, by given... Um, series of numbers here, which is 5, 15, and 45, yung 5 will be our first term, at yung common ratio, ratio natin will be 3, kasi pag nag-divide ka ng 15 and 5, it'll give you 3, 45 and 15, it's also equal to 3. Now, yung n natin will be 12, kasi yun yung hinahanap natin term doon sa sequence, or sa geometric sequence. So, by direct substitution, a... 12, or the 12th term, will equal to 5 times 3 to the 12 minus 1. At ang 12 minus 1 is 11, so kailangan i-evaluate mo muna yung exponent, and it will give us a very big number, and that number is 177,147, na kailangan pa natin i-multiply sa 5, para makuha natin yung 12th term ng ating geometric sequence, which is 885,700. And 35.